So we're ready to go for the gold medal match in the men's team under 21 recurve final. We meet Spain with Yun Sanchez, who will also be in the mixed gold match. So, the two team supporters creating plenty of atmosphere for them. Spain picked up a medal in the under 18s in the men's team, it was the bronze. But they can go at least one better here in the under 21s. So pass Sushant Salunke getting an eight with India's first arrow. Thirty-five for India's first three arrows. Yun Sanchez. Potentially, this could be a very good day for him. This is his first of two gold medal matches at these championships. Hold, popping up high. Jose Manuel Solera with the third arrow for Spain. To six, twenty-three. So a good start from Sanchez, but not so good from the following archers. Aditya Chowdhury being encouraged by his teammate Poma Devara. Good shot. Seven. <laughs> Did he say not bad? I think it started with good shot, not bad. <laughs> I was going to be positive. <laughs> so forty seven, Spain's target in this first set. Way to go for Sanchez. That's two tens for him.
Well, he went quite high with the first arrow, almost exactly as low with the second. He's probably made an adjustment, perhaps didn't need to. So, final eight. <laughs> so, 49 to 47 to be confirmed. So at least one cross liner on the uh, Indian target. It's always difficult to gauge the teams, isn't it, from the uh, first set? Yeah, you know, they've come across from the, uh, the practice venue and it might be slightly different conditions there to here, so sometimes it takes them an hour or two just to get their sights set properly or know how to react to the wind conditions we've talked a lot about that over this weekend that sometimes the wind completely drops but other times we're getting this left to right wind which is moving those flags and the wind socks down the field and the archers are having to aim off sometimes and you know for archers that's probably the worst most difficult conditions when it keeps changing you know if there's a consistent wind it's not too bad you can change your sights keep aiming at the middle but when it's changing, you've really got to be alert to that. So uh, those scores confirmed 49 for Spain in that first set, 47 for India. Uh, so 2-0 to Spain. Hispania, obejmuje prowadzenie meczu 2-0. So that two minute countdown begins for each of the teams. That's two minutes to get away all six arrows. No change in the order of shooting for India then. Bama Devara getting a, a good 10 to finish off those that group of three. That's his third 10 of the match. So three good shots from Spain, matching the ten and two nines of India, twenty-eight all. for India. Yeah. 
Well, that's a great score, 58. Sanchez, he's in fine form, isn't he? He really is. Four tens out of his four arrows so far. Unfortunately, that is the set slipped away. So Spain just need to regroup now. India have come back strong in the second set. Massive turnaround from the first. So a convincing victory in that second set from India. And Hume Sanchez for Spain in, in great form, but it's it's the rest of the team that need to find that centre circle, isn't it? Yeah, just trying to settle into the match, calm their nerves, be confident in where they're aiming as well. Salunke of India and he will be facing this man Yun Sanchez in the mixed team gold medal match a little bit later on So here we go again, all square. It's like starting from scratch. Two sets gone, two to go. Three nines for India. Well, let's see if we, if uh, Sanchez can continue with his hundred percent score. Ooh, just short of the ten. Commentator's curse, I think. Blame that on you. <laughs> I think actually, in in his mind, he thought he'd got it at first. He wasn't far out. It probably felt like a good shot, just slightly low.
And a nine again for him. So forty five. One final arrow from Bomber Devara. So fifty four total. That's a 10, just when they needed it. So, 9 to draw the set. And he gets the 9. So, he matches India's score of 54. Not sure if there were any contentious issues there. I think... Let the judges go and have a look, but uh, yeah, that should be a drawn set. Yeah, there didn't look to be any line cutters, so expecting 54 all. Split set points between them, bringing them up to three sets each. So this fourth and final set is literally just going to be all to play for, so taking the win here, really important. If they did tie again, it would force a shoot off. Stadium, uh, you can imagine what it'd be like if it was full of archery fans, wouldn't you? Just how noisy and atmospheric it would be, quite intimidating. I mean, it's great as it is, just with the teams supporting their, their teammates. But Roslav has played host to many big sporting events over the years. It was a venue for the uh, Euros in 2012, football, UEFA Football Championships. So, pressure's on. It's three all. We're into the final set. Whoever wins this set will win the gold medal in the men's team event. A little while ago, the bronze went to the USA. But here... Salunka gets India underway in this final set. Chowdhury now. Well, that's going to need looking at, isn't it? Do you think that was on the line? I think both of those first two shots are going to need looking at. They're just going for the line cutters here. They do touch the line, they'll get the highest score. It's a 10, it's no doubt about that one. <laughs> so 27 from India's first three arrows. And a 10. Sanchez service resumes. Oh, little flinch towards the end. Yeah, behind the six. He just felt his clicker. I think just came down a little bit microscopically. 
felt a bit of pressure, a little flinch, and then struggled with that one. Sanchez has a very expressive face. You can <laughs> tell what he's thinking, and he wasn't impressed by his teammates' six there. He tries not to show it. But you could just see the frustration on his face. Oh, I think they were a bit lucky with that one. It looked like it hit the arrow in the 10, glanced out into the 9. Oh, nice shot. Nice final shot for India. So, 54. It's at least a 55. First, and they definitely had 28 as a minimum, maybe even 30. So two tens needed to force a shoot off. Ah. Final arrow for Solera. And it's a ten, a fine arrow it was too. But it's not enough, and yes, we will wait for confirmation. But that final set looks like it's gone to India. They've India definitely the got winners. it, just That's by how many confirmed. points. So it's a 5-3 victory to India. And Spain will have to make do with silver, and still, what an achievement that is. So, Salunke Chowdhury and Pomodavara really putting on a, a great show against a strong Spanish team. But I think what it was, Nicky, was consistency within their team. They were all pretty strong. I felt Spain at times were carrying one or two of their players. Yeah, both had a shaky start, didn't they? Coming in and then India just ran away with it really through the, the next two sets and taking a really good win there to be world champions in the men's team under 21. So a golden victory in the men's team event for India on their Independence Day. And they add that to the five medals that the country won in the under 18 recurve category.